Now I have the pleasure of, of welcoming the UAE Minister of Energy, His, His Excellency Mohammed bin Dan Al Hamli, uh, for the keynote address. I'd like to welcome you all here to this important oil industry event. A special welcome is extended to my colleagues from Africa. Well, now it's my pleasure to introduce and welcome His Excellency Hussein Abdi Dwale, Minister of Mining, Energy and Water Resources of Somaliland, to address the forum with his keynote speech on East Africa as a game changer. Distinguished delegates, uh, Excellencies, Special Excellencies to His Excellency Mohammed bin Dain, uh, the Energy Minister of the UAE, uh, oil industry executives, reporters, it's a great pleasure to be here with you. As we all know, Africa is increasingly becoming a major player in the world oil and gas play. Its proven oil reserves stopped, topped 132 billion barrels in 2011, and it's about 9% of the world reserves. Oil production stood last year at 8.8 .8 billion barrels of oil a day, or about 10% of the world uh, reserves. As far as gas goes, current proven gas reserves in Africa uh, clocked in at 14.5 trillion cubic meters, or about 7% of the world reserves, and the gas production uh, is up to 202 billion cubic meters uh, per day, or about 6.17% of the world supply. Exploration activities in, many ho in my home country, Somaliland, are beginning to pick up. License holders such as Guinea Energy and Ophir Energy are set to embark on a major exploration program this year and the following ones that could add up to the burgeoning oil and gas discoveries in East Africa in the not too distant future. Other EMP companies are actively pursuing new licenses in Somaliland as well and are talking to us. Given its huge potential, the East African region has the capacity, believe, that's just a hunch, I believe could become the new Middle East. And some of this massive hydrocarbon potential once discovered and produced has to come to shore to ship to world markets. This will require investments in infrastructure, such as pipelines, LNG trains, processing plants, and shipping terminals. The next two decades will see major foreign investment inflows to, to develop the region's hydrocarbon riches. I want to really thank you guys again. I want to give special thanks to His Excellency Mohammed bin Dahin for sponsoring this for us. And thanks again for all the delegates for listening.